Alright ladies, so welcome back for another makeup tutorial. So this one is actually a collaboration with the one and only Lyric Jamaican makeup artist. And we decided to do a New York state of mind inspired makeup look. So for me, when I think of New York, I think of Calvin Klein, I think of Jennifer Lopez, I think of sexy, I think of like Dominican blowouts, you know, just a little something something. So I was like, okay. Let me show you guys what I have in mind, okay? So I hope you guys like this, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. All right, so let's get started. So first, what you want to do, you want to start out with a brown color that you're going to apply as your transition color, all right? And I like to start from the inner socket of my eye and kind of work in this wave-like motion and take it outside of my lid. All right. The next step is to take a gel liner or anything that you have that's a black base and apply that all over your lid. And preferably with the help of a synthetic brush, that way you can really diffuse the color into your skin. Now you want to go right back and take the same brown that you used initially and kind of diffuse the color. Make sure that you blend. Okay, so every time you add a new color, you want to go right ahead and blend. Now I'm going to take this loose powder, which is a mica powder. It's like a shimmery brown color, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. You really want to saturate the lid with it. And the fact that we're using the black as a base, it really is going to help it pop, but be a like dim. It's not going to be a super pop pop in your face. Okay, so you can definitely pull that out all over the lid, making sure to cover all the black that you had applied previously on your lid. That's a whole lot of talking, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, next what you wanna do, you wanna take a black eyeshadow, but you don't want something as black as Blackout by Urban Decay, something smoky like Carbon by MAC, all right? And just work in the outer V of your eyes, making sure to take your time with it and build up the smokiness. Before going any further, I want to carve out my brows. So I'm using this number 18 brush by Anastasia, which is one of my favorite brushes for my eyebrows. It does an amazing job at giving you a really, really nice arch. It sure does, okay? So if you're going to get the dip brow, get the brush also. And then I'm just going to diffuse that and blend that in. Now, over that, I'm going to apply this peach champagne color, all right, and just apply that as my brow highlight with the same Anastasia brow um, brush, sorry. And the reason why I like to use this brush is that it does such a great job at applying any type of brow highlight that you want to apply. It's gorgeous. It does a great job at blending. So take your time and blend profusely. Now, you want to take a really nice tapered brush. And work with a little bit of the carbon and kind of just like brush that. Use the brush as an eraser. Lay it on the lid and just kind of just pat that. Brush it, okay? Next step is my wing liner. Now, for the wing liner, you're going to have to try different brushes and see what really works for you. Um, for this look, I did not want an extensive line. So I went ahead and used an angle brush, okay? And feel free to maneuver the brush as you see fit in order to achieve the line that you desire. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> All righty now. Okay, so next are my Naomi lashes from the Lenny Lashes collection. You're going to love these. They're super, super gorgeous. Make sure you get a pair. So I apply those off camera. Now, this is where the J-Lo part comes in. Boric was in the house. All right, is that I wanted to get that nice highlight that you always get from J-Lo. So I'm just went ahead and apply these drops and you want to stop right where I'm showing you. Stop right there. Don't go any further and just apply the product. Next comes the blushes. I'll be working with two blushes. So I'm going to apply the red one in this diagonal fashion. The thing is red is not a natural blush color for a dark skin woman. So you want to be careful with it. All right. And then over that, I'm going to apply that lighter color. Okay. And then when you're doing that, because it's more of a glowy blush, just work in circles and feel free to connect that with your brow highlight so you get this really nice V, which even gives like it elevates your cheekbones even higher. It's pretty awesome. There's a science to this, I tell you. And then I'm taking a nude pencil and applying that all over my lips. I have a particular video just for nude pencils and nude lipsticks if you want to check that out. That way you can see where this color is from. And then once you're done doing that and making a beautiful pout because you're getting Instagram ready. Okay, next what you want to do, you want to also take a nude lip gloss and apply that over your lips so that way your pout is very like juicy and sexy. 
Did I tell y'all about this one time when I went to New York and I met and I saw Ghostface Killer? Girl. All right, then take like this um, gold paint pot and apply that in the inner socket of your eyes and take a smaller brush and really smoke out your bottom lashes using a lot of gel liner. Like a lot. Yeah. Like ignorant. Like, like ignorant. Okay. A lot of gel liner. A lot. A lot. Okay. And just blend that all the way up to the tip of your wing line. Got it? Awesome, son. All right. Then you want to go ahead and just apply your mascara on your bottom lashes. You really want your bottom lashes to be like black. Black ass. What's that? Like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now a quick mirror check. Yeah, baby. See that? Girl, yeah, the wig was, it, it was itching a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> then fix your hair. Make sure you look right. Got your nice little denim. Your Michael Core jewelry on. Your hair looking fine. Hair looking right. Look at that glow. But yeah, let me tell you about that one time when I saw Ghostface Killer, you guys. Ooh, oh, Ghostface, Ghostface. I had such a crush on Ghostface, y'all. You don't even understand. Ooh, but yeah, you gotta shoo. New York State of my honey. Like, get yourself ready like you're about to meet Nas. Oh gosh, Nas, I love him. Ooh, I digress. So quickly, you guys, allow me to do a shameless plug on this unit, okay? So this is a full lace glueless unit. I've got unit. I call this one Marlene. Yes, it's my namesake. It's a 24-inch wig. Okay, so if you're interested, I will have a button right here that you can click. And at the outro, you can also click on it, and it'll take you directly to the website if you want to view the wig, read about the wig, or better yet, actually order the wig, okay? So she's very beautiful. I'm going to have quite a few tutorials on this wig for you to know how I style it, how I put it on my head, and get it to blend so naturally with my own hair. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So ladies, before I leave you guys, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to head over to Lyric's channel and make sure that you subscribe to her channel as well because she has a special thing coming up in New York City for the month of September. So if you're free, I hope that you'll attend her class. And Lyric, we're so glad that you're back to making videos. Palm trees, palm trees, the shade, the shade is eminent. All right, so ladies, thank you so, so much, and I'll see you guys later for another makeup tutorial. Be to New York, we in the house. You make me feel so good. You make me feel so good. You make me feel so good. That's what you do. <laughs> All right, ladies. Bye.